Hello everyone, welcome to UI Brains and this is Naveen. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss one of the advanced concept of CSS that is called Flexbox. So what exactly mean by the Flexbox? So this is coming from the CSS3 version. So Flexbox means the flexible boxes. Okay, so this is to adjust your HTML elements or division flexibly. I mean, uh, is a more flexible options is given uh, either horizontally and vertically flexibly you can uh, arrange them uh, I will show you see here uh, suppose I have a box like this okay so in this I have some circles so I have a circle here and then I have a circle here and then I have a circle here Uh, one second, let me draw a simple circle. Let use, yep. See here, uh, I have a division, uh, some box here. In that, I have three circles. So, these three circles, I want to keep it exactly this corner. So, what you have to do? You have to give margin left equal something, margin top equal something you can give, right? But I want to keep exactly center of the box. So how to give? For all this, you can keep one parent element margin R2. What about the right side? You have to move it right. You have to give some styles, right? And sir, what about? I want to keep them exactly center of my box. So what should I do? I want to keep it here or here or here or here or here. So I want the internal elements to be flexibly arrange them on the I mean inside of this box that's the concept of flex box so we don't need to write much uh, the margin padding and this this concepts are not required so this automatically adjusts your elements as the uh, vertically as well as horizontally that's the concept of flex box so here in this let me keep it here so here in this the concept is the whole outside box we call it as the flex container the whole outer box is called flex container and how to make this as a flex container is the default uh, I mean the display property called flex if you give the display flex this element is going to be the flex container and once you make this as the flex container all its direct HTML elements is going to be the flex item it means the each circle is going to be the flex item okay suppose uh, you want to really understand this see the whole box I have taken as a division okay so this division if I give display flex property so that the whole division is will become a flex container inside the direct element let's make uh, each circle one another division let's make uh, some other color i'll make some h1 okay h1 and then another h1 and then another h1 okay see here whenever you give display flex for this division then all the internal HTML elements, the exactly the direct child elements, see H1 all are the direct child elements of this division. So these each H1 tag will become the flex item. Once it is a flex item, we can just arrange them uh, however you want. Okay. Let me also show you the official documentation how the Flexbox concept works. Let me um, go to Google here. Let me search for a Flexbox in CSS. Uh, you can search uh, MDN, uh, the official Mozilla Developers Network for CSS. See, here it is, Flexbox. Yes, uh, how the Flexbox concept is going to work? Why Flexbox? And what is the example here? And how it aligns? See, this is what the real example of Flexbox you want to understand. See, the whole thing is Flex container. In that, you have a Flex items. And these flex items, you can arrange them in a main axis as well as cross axis. Main axis means the horizontal axis, you can adjust them. 
and or else as a cross axis you can adjust them is a vertical or horizontally okay and we have a start center and start center and uh, any axis you can do that so we'll just understand uh, how this gonna work so let's make a flex container and then the flex items inside so now here the concept starts uh, i create uh, a new folder 11 underscore css underscore uh, flex box so here i create a new html index and one style sheet new style or css okay so in here i'll just say a css flex box and i'll just connect to the style sheet link style or css and let me open this on the browser so i have already started live server so let me open this in the browser okay so let's make one setup one parent element and the child elements so i'll just make one division with the class call container inside the writer h1 uh, here i'll say flex one okay so flex item one so like that i have uh, flex item two and then flex item three okay so for these things i'll go to the style.css and also see this is the container and these are the direct elements to the container and now we make this container as a flex box all these things will become the flex items so flexible items so here i reach uh, first the body tag the font family uh, arial and sans serif it is like this and for the first one the parent the container i will give how to convert this like a flex container is you have to give the property display flex if you give display flex those item will become a flex items okay so before i give the display flex uh, i'll just give some background styles and then we'll come across uh, display properties of flex uh, the very basic thing is i'll give the background color some light uh, gray color and let me give some padding some 10 pixels and little margin 10 pixels okay and the inside items each h1 right so let's say dot container space h1 uh, i'll give some background color some gradient 45 degrees black and uh, yellow and keep them center so first let's make a color color white and you can do one thing blue white and the deep pink okay looks good so keep it center i'll make a texture and center and give some padding some 25 pixels uh, let me give some uh, margin little 10 pixels okay looks good so this gray color box is your flex container and this item to be the flex item so how it will become is you have to make this as a flex container first so how to make this container as a flex container is you have to give display flex if you give display flex see display flex so this will become the flex container these are the flex item and here uh, when i give display flex done but by default how it is adjusted like a same row uh, there is another property called flex direction so what is the flex direction is you can align these items in a row or column so default flex direction is going to be the row that's why these are automatically adjusted like a row so how to control them is you can write the flex direction row so row is a default like this uh, you can just give or else column so two values are there row and column if i say column see these are occupied the whole less like a flex flexi flexi means it occupy from this corner to the this corner so these are all columns so if i give the flex direction column it means it's spread across for all the columns like this so it will become like this and if i make a row it will be just a single row items as manage not only row there is another value called row reverse if i say row reverse see these are adjusted from 
write it to the left in a reverse order so you can have uh, so if I say row it's gonna be like this row reverses like this one more if I make a column will be from top to bottom one to three and you can even adjust them column reverse so it will be column reverse so I will make a row as of now like this and then uh, what about its width I want to flexibly adjust the width of uh, each boxes I want to make it uh, completely occupy the screen uh, in a same ratio if you want to make these elements uh, maintain the same ratio on the screen size you can give another property for each element flex some number if I give flex one this will be the uh, I'll just keep these properties outside so that you can easy for you to understand so flex box so first property what we have discussed is display uh, flex for the flex uh, I, I mean flex container and other one is flex direction either row or column or reverse and then the flex so what is the flex is uh, it's like a ratio of each and every element so I have given the h1 tag flex 1 if I give the flex 1 see all are adjusted we have only uh, three elements in the container so all the elements I have given flex 1 so all the three elements adjusted with a ratio of 1 and you know if I decrease the if I reduce the screen sizes see or automatically it is flexed in the screen size like that okay so here is the concept of flex box next uh, if you don't want to make them uh, flexible like this you can delete so that it will be here so not only this we can adjust them in a cross axis and main axis so this horizontal is I mean this line is called main axis this is called a uh, cross axis main axis you can take it as X axis cross axis is called as a Y axis uh, if you want to adjust them um, I need to have some more height so for the container I'll give the height somewhere here height is some 500 pixels so if I give height automatically these item got stretch and now uh, I want to make them uh, move it around the main axis if you want to arrange them in a main axis like a x-axis way so there is something called align items align items so this is for the main axis so align items you can make uh, the values called flex start or flex end or send okay I'll just give the property call uh, align items value flex start so here I'll give uh, flex uh, sorry align items flex start so now see all the items as adjusted at a start position okay let me keep it aside from the screen okay I want to keep them center of a row so align item center see exactly center of a main axis you can also do flex end see end of the row you can flexibly adjust them through main axis using align items I'll make it center okay it is center now check this how it is when I give flex start at the start position when I give center center in a main axis when I give flex n end of this but not only adjusting a main axis I want to adjust them in a cross axis as well so for cross axis you have a property justify content justify content again uh, the same values here so this is going to be the cross axis okay so flex start justify content flex start so I'll just do one thing I'll just keep it center only and then justify content flex start 
so it is in a start start means uh, you can take like y axis left side okay so start position you want to keep them vertically center uh, you can say justify content center so these are come to the center you want to keep it right side that is flex and like this if i keep it center it's going to be the center you want to make it at the top here i want to keep it so what to do align items flex start see at the start position i want to keep it top right corner so what you do this is to be the flex end sorry flex uh, sorry it's a flex start it's a start position and this is to be the flex start here so if i make it flex end there's a flex end okay so start of uh, this axis and end of this axis i want to keep it exactly center so then both will be the center yes so this is how you can flexibly align them not only this you have another value for this uh, justify content there is a space between okay what is the space between you want to give the space between them you can also give justify content space between you can give a space between them see space between them uh, you can also give uh, one of the property called space around so around them some space but here this space and this space is double because here around some space and this also around so it is double space between them and here some half space so i want to maintain a same space evenly for all items you can give another value called space evenly so evenly adjusted the spaces okay so this how you can flexibly arrange the items either horizontally as well as vertically okay so this is the concept of flex box and the next video we're gonna see uh, some good example on the landing page so where we're gonna discuss both the concept media queries as well as flex boxes okay so thank you so much for watching and we'll meet in the next video thank you mm -hmm.